Now I've made a few modifications to my settings and my layouts in Adobe Illustrator throughout 2020 and I know some of you guys have asked about my workflow and so in today's video I'm going to divulge some of my workflow methods and tips and also my settings. Now I mainly use Illustrator for logo designing and so my settings are based pretty much around that. And I do have a preference setting just for logo designing which I do use most of the time. Now firstly, I have specific panels that I often used orientated down the left hand side. And I have them on the left next to the toolbar, so I have the complete right hand side of my layout free for designing. Crucially on the left, I have quick access to the align tool, which is handy for logo designing, and then below that the properties panel. Now the properties panel is so handy because you can access more than half of Illustrator's functions and tools in this one panel alone. So if you have a shape selected and you go into the properties panel, you can access transform and scaling options among other things. And if you have text selected, you can access many text functions right into this panel. So the properties panel is hugely powerful and I do use it quite often. So it's just right here, easy to access. And so then below that, I have a quick access to the stroke settings and of course the Pathfinder window, which is one of the mostly used functions for me as a logo designer. So yeah, I do have my layout in this way down the left again. So I have the right completely open for designing and just freedom. So the next change I've made is a keyboard shortcut and it's for the smooth tool. You're going to soon see why it's so useful, but I do use the smooth tool quite often. And the problem is that there is no default shortcut for it. So when you want to smoothen a path, you cannot go directly to the tool. You need to hold down a click and then highlight it, then reselect your design and then go to the smooth tool. Now you can see how annoying and time consuming this is. So I've simply assigned the keyboard shortcut as shift and S. I also do have a shape builder tool shortcut, which is just S. But another shortcut I think is essential in designing is a hotkey for the group selection tool. Now this can be found under the direct selection tool and it does come in handy for instances such as working with compound shapes because you can quickly select and move shapes within a compound selection. But also of course the group selection tool is good for, well, groups. You can select, move and edit design assets inside of groups. And so for this tool, I've assigned the hotkey of shift and G because command G is for grouping objects and G on its own is just a gradient. To assign yourself a custom shortcut, you can come into the edit and then the keyboard shortcuts menu. It's very easy to do. And I suggest that you do this for functions that you use on a regular basis and that do not already have keyboard shortcuts. Now here are two quick preferences that I find really useful to work with in 2020 and you can access the preference settings with command or control K. Now I've turned off the option that has the home screen shown when starting up Illustrator or when you have no documents open. I just find that home screen pretty annoying. So it's gone. Another very important setting for me is to have the UI in dark mode but not too dark because I feel the text is too contrasting on the backgrounds. Now I've been staring at screens for 15 years, pretty much day in day out. And my vision is near perfect. That might partly be because I have illustrator always on a dark mode setting and thus I don't have too much eye strain. It's food for thought and it might be something you should look into. But yeah, something I've been using a lot of in 2020 are actions and these are automated functions in illustrator. I'm going to redo one of my favorite actions to show you how it works. So when logo designing, it is nice to scale the design to see how it looks at different scales. And so here is an action for that. Select an object and then double click the scale tool here. Now I can scale up a object by 10%. So I have to type in 110 of original scale and then stop the action recording. Now this will be my scale up action. And of course I can do the same for scaling down by 10%. And so I'm going to type in 90% of the original scale and then finish the recording again. So 
So now the actions have been created, I can quickly scale any design up or down by increments of 10%. You can of course do this for scaling 50, 100 or whatever kind of percentage you want. And these are very useful and time saving. And so think about what kind of operations you can automate for your Illustrator workflow. I've got a lot more useful and decent content lined up for you guys here at Satori Graphics. So don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done already. And of course, watch a video on screen to learn more essential skills. Until next time guys, design your future today. Peace.